Welcome to a lesson on constructing a graph from data. To construct a graph from data, we want to follow the criteria here for a good graph. Number one, the horizontal axis should be properly labeled with the name and units of the input variable. Two, the vertical axis should be properly labeled with the name and units of the output variable. So it's important to remember that the input variable goes along the horizontal axis and the output variable goes along the vertical axis. Three, use an appropriate scale, start at or just below the lowest value, end at or just above the highest value, scale the graph so the adjacent tick marks are equal distance apart, use numbers that make sense for the given data set. The axes meet at the origin zero comma zero. We can use the slash marks between the origin and the first tick mark if the scale does not begin at zero. Four, all points should be plotted correctly and the graph should make use of the available space. Let's look at our example. The table below shows the total distance it takes a car traveling at various speeds to come to a complete stop. So this first row we have the speed in miles per hour and the second row is the stopping distance in feet. So the first step and probably the most important step is to determine which variable is the input variable and which variable is the output variable. To help with this, Remember earlier we mentioned that the input variable controls the output variable, or we can also say the output variable depends on the input variable. So because the speed controls the stopping distance, or we can say that the stopping distance depends on the speed, the input variable is speed in miles per hour, and the output variable is stopping distance in feet. Also notice how the lowest value of the speed is 15, and the highest value is 80. And for the stopping distance, the lowest value is 44, and the highest value is 481. Let's go ahead and record this information. Now the next step is going to be to label the horizontal axis with the input variable with its units. So we'll label speed with miles per hour here, and then we'll label the vertical axis with the output variable of stopping distance in feet. So let's go ahead and do that, which we have here. Now the next step is to scale the axes based upon the highest and lowest values of the input and output variables. So beginning with the input variable speed, because the lowest value is 15, we'll go ahead and start at zero. And because the highest value is 80, let's go out to 100. So I think if we scale this by 10, we can reach 100. So we'll let every two small square be equal to 10 along the horizontal axis. So we'd have 10, 20, 30, and so on. Notice how we scaled the horizontal axis from zero to 100, and therefore all the input values will fit in this scale. And now we'll scale the vertical axis. Notice how the lowest value is 44, and the highest value is 481. So we'll go ahead and start at zero, and let's go up to 500. Let's go ahead and scale this axis by 50s. Notice how all the output values will fit on the vertical axis. So now that we have both axes set up, the last step is to plot the points using the ordered pairs. Remember, for every ordered pair, we have the input, comma, the output. So our first ordered pair is 15, comma, 44. So the input is 15, the output is 44. It should be approximately here. The next ordered pair is 25 comma 85. Here's an input of 25, an output of 85 would be a little bit below 100, let's say here. The next ordered pair is 35 comma 135. So the input is 35, the output is 135. That'd be below 150, somewhere in here. The next ordered pair is 45 comma 196. Here's an input of 45, an output of 196 is just below 200, let's say here. The next ordered pair is 50 comma 229. Here's an input of 50, output is 229, which would be a little bit more than 225, so just above this grid mark here. The next ordered pair is 60 comma 304. 
Here's the input of 60, an output of 304 would be just above 300 here. The next ordered pair is 75 comma 433. Here's the input of 75. An output of 433 would be below 450, maybe somewhere in here. The last ordered pair is 80 comma 481. Here's an input of 80. Output of 481 is obviously below 500. Let's say it's approximately here. So this is our graph from the given data. I hope you found this helpful.